Hello and welcome back to in heart of London's West End on this special day. I'm Jing Wei. I'm Chen Zhang. Here tonight we are the third TVE Global Sustainability Film Awards. This competition showcases how businesses around the world drive the environmental and the social change and still can make a profit. And this year, Propeller TV is once again a medium partner. We will be presenting our own award, Recognize Innovation. And also, we will bring you all the results and introducing you to the winners and having an exclusive glimpse of the films that showing how the companies are really making a difference. TV was set up 30 years ago this year by WWF UK, the United Nations Environment Programme and Central Television. And our mission is to inspire change towards a greener, fairer world through the power of film. For many, many years, TV has worked with filmmakers and broadcasters and now YouTube filmmakers around the world to bring all their creativity and their journalistic know-how to tell the big environment and development stories of the day. Why did I get involved? Because I think it's a fantastic uh, charity to be able to give uh, credence to uh, such an important area. And my involvement in sustainability and my reason is to get the message about sustainability out. TV is running the awards because we want to give companies around the world the opportunity to showcase what they are doing to fulfill their sustainability policies and strategies. And we want to give them an opportunity to inspire their peers with their own innovative ideas through film. We have got to think of ways of preserving the world around us and not polluting it, not corrupting it. We have got to work together. Now as the currency or the knowledge about sustainability has become such a bigger and more understood arena, it has much more support, but it's certainly a much more of an aware and much more widely known topic globally. And that's why I'm so glad that these awards are Global Sustainability Awards with entries from all over the world. I'm looking forward to people not only enjoying themselves, but that an awareness and an enjoyment about the positive things that can be done in the whole field of sustainability is part of the whole feeling's essence and, and the whole general feeling and spirit of the evening. I'm so excited that it is here in BAFTA and I just hope that the fame and profile of these awards will just spread and spread and spread. And of course we're looking forward to 2015 which is a very important year in terms of the decisions that the world is going to make about climate change and commitments uh, and the sustainable development goals for the future. So 2014 is a very important year for these awards. 2014 is the third year of TVE Global Sustainability Film Awards and each year it is attracting more and more entrants. Yes, and the 2014 judge panel met in central London to judge all the entrants and with more than twice the number than last year, they certainly had their work cut out. Well, I'm here because students of ours are working on the uh, TVE Awards. So I'm delighted they've been invited to do this. And for them, I think it's a great experience. It's exactly what we try and encourage at the University of Westminster. You know, we're delighted to be here. We're a utility company, so we wouldn't normally be at an awards ceremony quite like this. So it's new for us to be here, but we're very excited. Film is definitely something that really goes straight to people's hearts. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful method to do this. I really enjoy the fact that it's so international. So I hope I don't meet people from all over the world because the environment doesn't know boundaries, doesn't know the international differences between one country and the other. And it's important that you know steps are taken to to look after you know the world that we've uh, inherited. Can I please ask you to make your way upstairs to the Princess Anne Theatre and take your seats? Thank you. People are beginning to take their seats in BAFTA's Princess Anne Theatre and it's not long now before we find out who will be tonight's winners. It's so exciting!
Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight to the third TVE Global Sustainability Film Awards. Tonight, you will be seeing the culmination of a year-long awards program, bringing together partners, film entrants, an expert judging panel, volunteers and supporters. Now, we have a really exciting and thought-provoking program tonight, but before we begin, I must say how delighted we all are this year to have corporate strategist and philanthropist Oliver Rothschild as our awards chairman. Welcome, everybody. The wish to understand and pursue sustainability should be endemic in our culture. We should recognize and embrace the need to make a change. It is not just waste that we know of physically, but waste in society and waste in culture. In the words of Paul Newman, we are such spendrists with our lives. The trick of living is to slip on and off the planet with the least fuss you can muster. In my view, he was ahead of his time, as was the initiative of TV itself started over 30 years ago. Enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. We want to harness the power of your films to inspire companies and organizations globally to innovate, to share their visions, and to aspire to doing business in as sustainable a way as possible. Throughout its history, TVE has sought to spark informed debate. We are delighted to continue to do so through the growing impact of our TVE Global Sustainability Film Awards. Thank you. Now this year it was so exciting to see the sheer variety and range of topics addressed by our entries, something which was picked up by the internationally acclaimed panel of judges. Double the entries, double the applause for our judges. Many thanks to them. Let's get on to the films and the announcement of our 2014 winners by category. We are going to start with the Environment Award entries. Here are the nominees. The Environment Award shows the efforts of companies to reduce their impact on the environment. This is a fiercely competitive category, and the nominees in 2014 were Bam Nuttles, Bringing Engineering to Life, Links How We Live on Earth Today to the Future of the Planet Itself Tomorrow. BASF's Sustainability at Crop Protection Europe seeks to prove care for the environment needn't be at the expense of high yields or healthy profits. Sustainability. Nearly everybody speaks about it. At BASF, we do too. In fact, we do more. We act on it in one of the most important future markets in agriculture. BASF's The New Source Desalination in Cyprus shows a solution to the island cycle of drought and water shortage. In this country, the water is very limited and I grew up appreciating this uh, precious resource. So everything depends on water, the whole society. Cathay Pacific's entry, Working Towards a Sustainable Future, focuses on finding ways to make flying more efficient, eco-friendly and economical. Today, international travel is an amazing, uplifting part of life and an integral part of many people's lifestyles. We really love aviation, but we love our planet too, and we don't think the two things have to conflict. So at Cathay Pacific, we're doing all we can to make aviation more sustainable. Chepu Adventures, where nature is our main supplier, takes us to an eco-lodge in the heart of the beauty and rich biodiversity of remotest Chile.
Global Generations Constructing Environmental Sustainability takes us into the distant past to learn lessons about how to build a sustainable future. I found out that Global Generation actually had a site of scientific interest in Kirkwood. I was instantly so chuffed and so intrigued, um, desperately, desperately wanted to go have a look. For us it was a chance to explore different kinds of sustainability and also very much um, build relationships and through building relationships opening the ground for creativity and new ideas to come. HSBC LAM film shows how it's helping making headway in Mexico City in the drive against congestion and pollution. Bad transportation can be considered like a cancer in a society. It reaches everybody. Time is the, our most precious resource. At the beginning, I used to drive to work. It was like one hour, one hour and a half. And with the Metrobus, it takes me like a half an hour or 45 minutes. HSBC Global's entry, Invested in Lives and Livelihoods, demonstrates how access to clean water transforms life in communities in India. And the idea is to work with people to conserve nature. And uh, that is what WWF had been uh, attempting in the HSBC water program. We are, at the end of the day, citizens of the communities around us. And we fund industry which cannot function without water. Snow Carbon's entry makes the environmental case for families to pack their skis onto trains, not planes when heading for the slopes. Me and my family and friends are going to go skiing on the train. It's easy to walk up and down the train, unlike a plane. You just have to push right in the door open, which is cool. Sante's Taking Control of Sustainability looks at how climate control in the workplace or home can ultimately help in the fight against climate change. Sante is a market-leading manufacturer and supplier of control peripherals, such as sensors and switches, into the building controls industry. We have been manufacturing products that help control ambient conditions for 40 years. Initially, this was mainly for occupant comfort on the maintenance of operational equipment but quickly became a method for monitoring and controlling energy usage. Thames Tideway Tunnel Limited reminds us you poo too and that a new super sewer is needed if the river is to stop being used as a loo for London. But when it's done, it'll take your poo directly to the sewage works and keep it out of the river for the next 100 years or so. Which means a cleaner environment for all of us, including the fish. The highly commended award in this category for BASF SE for their film, The New Source, Desalination in Cyprus. Also highly commended in this category are Snow Carbon Limited for how children make the journey part of the holiday. And now the winner of the environment category, Thames Tideway Tunnel Limited for you, Pool Poo. that we are contributing to a sustainable development and that we are on a good way, we are contributing to the journey and that other people see it likewise gives me more motivation to go on. I was very lucky to find children who had a lot of charisma, I mean they all love the journey but these, the, the ones I interviewed had a lot of charisma and I think that is what really made the film and they really showed that you know, this sustainable way of travelling is also a fantastically enjoyable experience. Really pleased to have picked up this award. The whole purpose of our film was to raise awareness about what is an increasing problem of sewage being polluted into the River Thames in London. So picking up an award like this means that we're showing more people our film and engaging more people in about the problem that we've got in London today and hopefully getting support to actually get this cleaned up. I'd like to now welcome to the stage Neil Armstrong, Chief Executive of Fast Flow Group, and they are the sponsors of the Community Investment Awards. Thank you, Oliver, and good evening, everyone. Each of the films 
feature tonight has been chosen for their focus on the environment, governance, and community sustainability. Each is very different, but each also has two common themes. Because they all feature people living on this planet, and they've all been filmed in different places on this planet. And if we don't focus our efforts in solving this problem, every one of those people in every one of those places will suffer, as will we. And if at any stage you feel like giving up because of the enormity of the problem and the impossibility of getting everyone on board, then don't forget the words of Edmund Burke. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people like us to do nothing. Thank you. And now we will see the nominees for the Community Investment Award. The Community Investment Award is the most popular category and allows businesses to show how they engage with communities to enrich lives, promote education and inspire involvement. The nominees for 2014 were AstraZeneca's Youth Health Programme, three years on, charts its success in tackling critical health issues in young people in 18 countries worldwide. There are 1.2 billion adolescents worldwide, but many of their health issues remain underserved. So, the Young Health Programme was created three years ago to help young people around the world improve their chances of living a better life. AstraZeneca's second entry shows the impact its programme has had on teaching young people in Portugal about health and how to stay healthy. Come fruta. Fique em forma. Faz exercício. Diz não às drogas. Não fumes. Segue os bons exemplos. Vai receber. Previne as doenças. Ser saudável. BASF's Water Education Project records how children in India are being taught the crucial value of clean drinking water for the whole community. Cred Jewelry's The Story of a Wedding Ring shows how fair trade practices can offer a brighter future for mining communities in the developing world. Cred actually have a relationship with, with the miners that deal direct with the people that get the gold out of the ground for us. Um, so Cred knows the person that got the gold out of the ground for my ring, you know, and that, that's really important. The extra money also goes into communities and education and healthcare. DLA Piper's Child Justice in Bangladesh tells the story of children as young as nine in trouble with the law who are given a new start in life. Badal is a young kid who got trapped in the justice system after stealing pigeons. Working through a community-based child protection committee project established by UNICEF, we were able to get him released and now Thanks to a grant from UNICEF, he's rearing pigeons, caring for them, training them. It's given him a real purpose in life. Imperial College's Powering the Top of the World, Empowering Communities, shows how renewable energy is transforming life in rural Nepal. In Nepal, I think even after 20 years, you cannot extend really everywhere. It's impossible. It's costly efforts. Local communities are starting to take their future into their own hands. Microhydro systems are often seen as ideal for rural electrification, providing enough power for a whole village. Ernst & Young's entry shows its successful program of seconding managers to help entrepreneurs around the world turn their vision into reality. My name is Stuart Munnar. I run Yapo, which is a mobile payment app for students in South Africa. So I'm part of Power of Youth, which is a global network of entrepreneurs, and they have a relationship with EY and they suggested that um, I apply and after a vigorous application process and um, based on the skill sets that we required for our company they assigned Pablos. Global Generation's Big Bang project 
shows children gaining insight to how their place in today's world is part of the 14 billion year story of the universe. Remember what I said, we're the storytellers in the universe, that's our unique role. We have to why one of the things that we've been doing to develop our capacities, we've learned, been learning how to focus, how to really listen, how to make room for the story, because it's such a big story. Golda Associates Film focuses on the work of its trust to help change the lives of thousands of HIV AIDS orphans in seven countries across Africa. The Golder Trust for Orphans is the global employee-run charity of Golder Associates. As a company guided by our core values, and with a key value being a commitment to caring and improving the communities in which we live and work, we realized we have the power and ability to make a significant difference in the world, and we decided to act rather than stand by and watch. HSBC USA's Backpack Best Start to the Year shows how it's helping underprivileged American children receive all the supplies they'll need for school. Just a couple of years ago, I met a young boy. He was 15 years old then. He was living in one of our shelters. I asked him if he'd received a backpack from us. He just started glowing. His eyes lit up and he said, yes. And I had so many cool things in there, things that even other kids don't have. I was allowed to choose any book bag I wanted and I was pretty happy. I, was, I, felt, I, felt, right. I felt ready for school. HSBC UK's entry looks at its support for the nationwide network of volunteer citizen scientists collecting crucial data on water quality across Britain. Freshwater Watch is uh, engaging over 7,000 HSBC staff as citizen science leaders. They will form the foundation of Freshwater Watch, which is a global project in over 20 locations around the world. And this gives them the opportunity to provide data for an area where there's a real growing need for information. MNC Saatchi London's film, Shear the Road, cautions drivers, cyclists and pedestrians to keep their tempers and their heads and stay safe on the street. We'll grow it. Because these encounters stay with you, they play on your mind. But what if we let it go and leave it behind? Breathe in, breathe out. The moment has gone. It's time to move on. Rainforest Expeditions film invites us to the Peruvian Amazon to see how its lodges deep in the rainforest are promoting both ecotourism and conservation. By offering local people the chance to use ecotourism to create value from healthy living forests, we are helping to preserve hundreds of thousands of acres of the Amazon and prevent millions of tons of greenhouse gas emissions from deforestation. The entry from So You Want to Be in TV shows how it helps disadvantaged and diverse young people get the chance to make a career in television. So You Want to Be in TV gave me my starting job in, in the industry of television. From that, I managed to build a career which I still currently work in and find fulfilling every day. So for them to be able to give me uh, that point, for me to be able to start a new career, I'm very, very grateful for that. No Place to Live documents the work of the Robes Project to provide community-run shelters for people whose only home is the street. Now, yesterday morning, or the day before, she was not feeling at all well. So, um, Morik and the girls, if you just check, he's OK. The shelter opens at 7pm. The volunteers work hard, welcoming the guests and making them feel comfortable. They're given a bed for the evening and night, a hot meal, and some have shower facilities. They leave after a hot breakfast in the morning. To Soko Baez's film from Bolivia, Beyond the Landscape, the People promotes tourism in harmony with local communities and the environment. Libichuco evoca un sitio remoto. Es una pequeña comunidad aymara del Ayu Cacachaca, escondida entre las montañas a más de 4.000 metros de altura. Allí donde la gente con sus bellos tejidos, el aire fresco y el paisaje, Hacen que sientas la hermosura de una tierra ancestral. WWF's entry celebrates its partnership with MS, thanking shoppers for supporting the Forever Fish campaign and so helping marine conservation. Together, we can do amazing things. We can go further. 
We can shout louder. We can live in harmony. We have a big vision for a better way of doing things. A vision that can't be achieved alone. So to all of you who have supported Forever Fish, thank you. A highly commended award goes to Energy Futures Lab at Empyrean College London, powering the top of the world, empowering communities. Also highly commended in this category are DLA Piper, UK LLP, Child Justice in Bangladesh. And the winner of the community investment category is the Big Bang Project. I just want to say a massive thank you. So many people are part of this project. All of you are part of this project. And that's the incredible thing. I often say to our young people, we're not just doing this for you, we're doing it for you the future. There is so much more in us that we haven't yet discovered. And we're living in an incredible time when so much is being revealed about the fact that we're all made of the same stuff, stardust. Yeah, I mean, this is the first one we've ever made, so um, so yeah, that was quite a quite a fun thing to do, and um, it's really great to get some recognition for it. Uh, we're working with the government on a child justice partnership to protect the most vulnerable children in Bangladesh. There's a million homeless kids, um, and already we're starting to implement laws to uh, protect them in a way that they haven't previously been. So, um, really having a positive impact. We really felt telling our whole story of our 14 billion year history is a way of um, describing that we're all part of a massive community that's not just human beings, it's the soils and the waters and the plants and the animals and we, up until recently, we've just told this story mainly in King's Cross where we work and with the young people but this takes us to a new threshold where we are able and to tell the story much more broadly. Now we come to our Inspiring Good Governance Award. And here are the nominees in this category. The Good Governance Award aims to reward those businesses that are working towards sustainability by adopting innovative solutions. The nominees for 2014 were... Bam Nuttall's What is Sustainability illustrates the key issues of impact and responsibility surrounding civil engineering and the environment. Governments know, people know, that we need to reduce our resource dependence by 80%, our resource efficiency, improve that by 80%, and to reduce global carbon emissions by 80% in the next 20 or 30 years. Serious challenges that all businesses all individuals will have to meet. Chepu Adventures film from Chile, where sustainability is more than a way of life, it's a passion, invites you into a holiday lodge with a difference. Sample, we have gone completely paperless, designing a biometric check-in system, where guests signs with their pinky fingerprint. Guests can borrow tablets that connect wireless to the system so they can monitor in real time their use of water and electricity from the comfort of their rooms. Any guests who remain within their eco limits are rewarded by Chepo Adventures, planting a tree in Patagonia in their honor. Saros's film, Leading by Doing, takes us down under to show how putting up environmentally sustainable properties is changing city life in Australia. Pizarros believe they have a very unique and valuable role to play in educating the market to drive demand for environmentally considered apartments and influence the industry to implement change. Seeding time pictures, Atlas, Pearls and Perfume shows how pearls are not just precious gems but have changed lives and livelihoods in Indonesia. To this day, if you ask me what my identity is, I'm an Australian farmer. I've always been excited by things more than just the conventional aspects of pearl farming. And doing that in collaboration with Indonesia creates a win-win scenario. And I'm not aware of a better example between our two nations. 
Westpac Group's film offers 100 reasons why the Australian bank was voted number one in the 100 most sustainable corporations in the world. Highly commended award goes to Saros for their film Leading by Doing. Saros is an award winning Western Australian property development company leading in the construction of environmentally sustainable apartment buildings and are not able to be with us this evening. I'm delighted, therefore, to invite her Pamara Rama of Sustainable Architects 4M Group to come up to the stage and accept this award on their behalf. And the winner of the Inspiring Good Governance Award is Chapewood Ventures, where sustainability, more than a way of life, is a passion. Chapu Adventures are based in Chile, South America, and then again, they're not able to be with us uh, here this evening. But I'm delighted to invite Georgie Bridge, WWF UK's Director of Brand Expression on stage, to accept this award on their behalf. Good evening. It's a pleasure to accept this award on behalf of Chepetu Adventures. Um, what an incredible place. Um, looks fantastic. Really fancy a visit there. That's amazing. So thank you very much. Well, it's wow. <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic um, uh, achievement. Obviously, again, uh, I have uh, accepted it on behalf of the company and you know, hopefully in the future uh, it is inspiring and therefore it makes myself and also my company work more on this uh, side. So to present the Propeller TV Awards for Innovation, please welcome Andy Yi, Managing Director, and Ying Hua, Marketing Manager of Propeller TV. TVE's commitment to inspiring change through creating compelling television is surely shared by Propeller TV. Propeller TV Award recognizes innovation. It's about how companies are finding a new way to promote sustainability in workplace, in societies, or in, in the environment. Now I would like to announce the um, highly commended awards of this category. It goes to So You Wanna Be in TV for their film Changing Lives, Changing TV. And the winner of the Propeller TV Award for Innovation goes to Turpu Adventures for their film Where Sustainability More Than a Way of Life is a Passion. I would therefore like to invite Lucy Clark from the Latin America Travel Foundation to receive this award on behalf of Chapel. Lucy, please come. I have to confess, obviously not from Chile, from just up the road, um, but delighted to be here tonight on behalf of um, the Latin America Travel Foundation. We're a collection, a trade association really, of um, hotels, lodges, so it's really exciting and a, an honour really for, for such a, a small property to win an award like this. So I'll certainly be sending my congratulations and thank you for having me here this evening. I'm absolutely over the moon because, you know, it's all about sustainability, it's all about survivability and, you know, we represent young disadvantaged people in the community and we've chosen to use TV to help change young people's lives. So to get this award just means the world itself. I know all the judges and I felt that everyone was a winner. All of you who put the films in had done something which you haven't done much before, broadcasters, professionals know it, but commissioning and deciding what to make is more difficult. But the reality is, rather than being a problem or a difficulty, it was a real privilege, it was genuinely inspiring, and it was fun. So I'm pleased to note that the Judges Award goes to HSBC Global for their film Investing in Lives and Livelihoods.
delighted to stand here today to represent HSBC Global. And the second one goes also to HSBC, which is HSBC Now UK, for volunteering with the HSBC Water Programme. So can you come and get the award? I was thrilled when I heard HSBC mentioned for the first award because I really had no idea that we had a shout for the first time. And then when they announced HSBC for the second time, um, I was absolutely bowled over by the whole thing. It's the first time we've taken part in these awards and it's a real privilege to be honoured in this way. To present the award for Best Overall Film, we are delighted to welcome on stage one of Britain's most outstanding young actors who's become an overnight sensation following his leading role in Spielberg's War Horse, Jeremy Irvine. Um, you know, I've been a big fan of TVE now for the last two years. Um, and like them, I believe in, in the power that the film has. You know, film can make us laugh, it can make us cry, it can make us fall in love. And most importantly, it can every now and again change an idea. And that's why tonight I think is so important. Um, so, the winner is... It's the most un unfortunate title, but the best <laughs> film tonight is Thames Tideway Tunnel for You Who Too. Just say thank you very much for uh, the recognition for the film that we put forward this evening. Um, this was a really important film to us because it was all about raising awareness of a problem in London that happens on a weekly basis, but probably a lot of people in this room don't even know about. Um, it's all about how we pollute the uh, River Thames in London, and our film is all about how we're really focused on cleaning up London's river to make it fit not only for the people who live here now, but also for future generations. So thank you very much for this award. We are especially honoured to have Leo Johnson as our keynote speaker. Please welcome onto stage Leo Johnson. So my name is Leo Johnson. I guess if there's anything that brings sense to what I try to do is I'm a sort of trying to seek for stuff that makes me feel optimistic. And I'm a long time fan of, 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 of TVEs because they are surfacing some absolutely fantastic stuff. Across these projects, there's a whole load of things that you can just fall in love with. Does this mean stuff's going to happen? It's not going to happen without a set of people like the people who stood up representing the companies that are doing this stuff, innovating, finding stuff that works. And it's not going to happen without a set of great filmmakers who've got the gifts that the people in this room have got to turn those projects into messages that resonate and because of that replicate. So to any of you who are still conscious, I think it is almost dinner time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Saying that you've only caught a glimpse of this evening uh, of the wonderful films uh, that were entered into our competition. But all of the film entries are now available to view in full on our Global Sustainability Film Awards website. Thank you all for your passion and commitment, and please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much indeed. Now all the winners and the runners-up have been announced. It's time to celebrate at TVE's fundraising gala dinner in Biffa's David Ling Room. Let's go and join them. Well, honestly, I think it's the best award ceremony I've ever been to. Um, to be here in London at BAFTA is an absolute thrill. It's fantastic. A very crucial time in our lives, over 7 billion people. And quite clearly right now, it's crunch time. Governments aren't taking initiative. 
And it's films like this and awards like this which take the initiative to hopefully change the fact. I was really impressed with what I saw this evening. I think it's fantastic to see major organisations sponsoring these films to be showing what they're doing globally to, with sustainability. I think it's very impressive. I think actually the, the quality's gone up over the last few years, so when we were first involved there were less entries and maybe the quality wasn't as good, but as you know I'm sure cameras, film products are available to a lot more people nowadays, a lot more countries, a lot more individuals, and therefore we're seeing more films being entered and a better quality of film as well, so that just helps push the message that sustainable is the way forward. Well I think, I think it's obvious why it's important now, and I think anyone who, who can't see that is, uh, is burying the head in the sand really. You know, I think it's obviously one of the most important uh, issues that you know, our generation and, and generations to come after us will have to deal with. Yeah. I, I like it. Many beautiful people. They're beautiful. It's they, 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 their heart is beautiful. And uh, it, it's a wonderful event. A lot of energy, a lot of passion. And most wonderful is people want to change the world for the better. Not for money, not for fame. It's, it's a wonderful place. Wonderful ideas, wonderful projects. Wow, what a great night at the BAFTA. What do you think about Chef? It's absolutely a wonderful night and I hope you all enjoy the night to be a part of 2014 TVE Global Sustainability Film Awards. And it's not over yet. We have some special treat for you. So keep watching see tonight's overall winning few. You put two by Tales. Tideway Tunnel Limited. I have been Jingwei. I have been Chen Zhang. Thank you for watching. I hate to break it to you, but everything we eat has to go somewhere. Yeah, I'm talking about poo. Average person has to go what? Like 365 times a year? That adds up to around 140 kilos of poo, which is more than double what I weigh. And that's just one person. Every day, London's sewer system has to deal with one and a quarter billion kilos of poo. Most of the sewage gets treated at places like this. But there's a problem. The sewer system beneath our feet was designed when our city had a population of two million people. I mean, that's still quite a lot, but nothing compared to now. So when it rains, the system overflows, which is not good. If you imagine eight billion toilets flushing straight into the Thames, that's how much ends up in the river every year. It's disgusting. <laughs> And it's happening right now, right under our noses. Like here, at Blackfriars Bridge, where sewage can pour into the river at a rate of 50,000 kilos a second. It's just plain wrong. I mean, come on! London's one of the most impressive cities in the world. So you think someone would be doing something about this? And someone is. The Thames Tideway Tunnel is going to be 16 miles long and take seven years to build. It's massive. But when it's done, it'll take your poo directly to the sewage works and keep it out of the river for the next 100 years or so. means a cleaner environment for all of us, including the fish. And as London keeps getting bigger, we'll be protected, which is good, because we're the ones who have to live here!